Hi, good afternoon. It is in the 70s here in Kansas. A beautiful day. The wind is blowing, but it's not chilly like it has been the last few days. I actually had to shed my uh, flannel shirt I had on. And flannel, when you say flannel, I remember the old school, it was really heavy. It was flannel. But these you buy today. I guess you can buy some of those, but for the cheaper ones. But it's still too warm to wear even that. So I took it off. And so here I am. I have my mind going in all kind of directions because I have so many videos I want to show you that have popped up in the last few days. Um, I want to show you a video about that apron right back there. You see it hanging there. Um, I'm all done with it for the most part. I need to put my uh, wide single fold bias tape around all the edges. Uh, but I went on Tamu and I ordered a handmade label. It's got a big strawberry on it that I want to put inside that when I sew that down. So I'm kind of waiting to put it on there for whenever I get that. And uh, she's got all summer to wear that. It's not like she's not going to be able to, to wear that apron out in her garden. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you these dishes that I got. I got these at Goodwill. I actually got these. I just got through eating eggs out of this. But <laughs> it made me think maybe I could show this to you because this is such an awesome find. These are little china. The real china. They're, it's called Crystal Gar... Gar Cardinals, Cardinals, I don't know. It's they're made in China, but uh, they come in these little. They're like little rice bowls, and the outside has one color all the way around, and then the inside has this color. Um, they're so awesome. I have like twelve of these, and they're all every single one is different. And I'd go show, but those are downstairs, of course, in my kitchen. But if you're interested and you'd like to see all those bowls. Let me know. They were having a sell. They were each 50 cents. I bought all of them. No more than $10. I think maybe they were six something. I don't know. Six fifty. But um, aren't those cute? <laughs> it's just a ball. Big deal. I don't know. That's not me. I, I, I have joy and pleasure when eating something. Then you get to the bottom and it's so pretty. Um, if you're like that, let me know. <laughs> I know I'm not cuckoo. Anyway... I went to Hobby Lobby today because I was looking for um, some little strawberry buttons I thought I would put on the pocket of that apron that I'm making, add a little something, and I didn't have quite enough of the single fold bias tape, only had one pack, and I was, I was, eh, I don't know, I wanted to make sure that it goes all the way around. So I went to see about that. I found nothing in strawberries, which I was really shocked. Um... And as far as the bias tape, they had that on sale for 99 cents. And so I got three of them plus the one I have. So I'm not going to run out. And then I'll have it for future, of course. Uh, but while I was there, something was going on that has never went on at um, Hobby Lobby, at least to my understanding. Um, remember how in the past they would actually sell their old pattern books? I have three or four of them to prove it. But they no longer do that. And also the patterns that they take out of their catalog there that's got all their patterns listed. Uh, they didn't keep those either. But what did they do with them? They were throwing these things away. I mean, you figure. How in the world? Why would you do that? Um, but today when I went in, they're in the little section that they have over on the wall, which has been, it's always there. But there on three levels of shelves were new look patterns for 99 cents. This is at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if it's just this time of year when they do this. Uh, maybe you want to check out your Hobby Lobby. I have very few new look patterns. And the reason for that is they run from, they can be good night from $3.99 each up to six something. Um, but whenever you buy those, I don't think that's a lot to buy a pattern. But the problem with that is when I buy patterns, I want a deal where I can buy a slew of patterns. And that was the dollar ninety nine, which New Look were hardly ever, if ever, sold for a dollar ninety nine. Um, so when I saw all these patterns, all New Look, I said, "Wow!" So uh, I texted my husband in the car, or I called him, and I said, "Hey, maybe a few minutes." I said, "I ran into a gold mine," <laughs> and I told him, "I said I need to look through all these." So he says, "Oh, I'm not in a hurry. Go ahead, take your time." So I went through all of those, and uh, I had so many. By the time I got done, I actually ended up putting like 15, 20 back. Because I felt, okay, this is ridiculous. And um, if you sold any length of time at all, you know that a lot of times patterns are just repeats. 
because they're so much like another pattern. So, um, and you don't always have to go what's on the pattern. You can take the top of one and use the bottom of the other. It's just, it's open field. You can do what you want to do. And that's what the, or one of the things that's so rewarding and fun about sewing because it's your creation. So I did get my bias tape that I needed and I'll show it to you. Everybody knows what bias tapes look like. I did find some buttons. They don't go with my apron that I wanted because the buttons are not functional. They're just for decorations on the pockets. Um, but I did find some buttons that I got for 99 cents and then another one. Uh, it, it was more. So those were $1.99 on sale and uh, they're pretty. So I had to get those. And uh, then I got some fabric and I'll show you those. I'll show you that too. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right on into this haul. So uh, here are my patterns. And I did. I got 15. Uh, let's see. Let me see what I got right here. Put it on my lap. Cause bend down, bend down, bend down. All right. The first pattern that I got. First of all, let me show you this, guys. I did get my Joann's paper in the mail today i know is either yesterday or the day before that i lose track of time i did buy butterick and i actually have a video up you can go look at it of the patterns that i got at joann's for $1.99 okay uh but they're running a sale now and it's in here okay let's see if i can find what page it's on but uh here it is thursday through sunday april the 4th through the 7th okay Butterick patterns, and of course, that's over because what's today? The ninth? So that, that one's over. But the next sale is on Simplicity patterns, and that starts Thursday, and it goes through Sunday. And they're also $1.99. So, um, yeah, it's right down here in this little bitty box down here at, at the very bottom down there. So you should be able to go in and get you some if you're Joann's. And I guess all Joann's does that. I don't even know. It depends on what state you live in, if they even have sales like this. I don't know. But this is what I got in the mail. They have a lot of cool stuff, obviously. The summer months are coming. Um, they have the Quilter show, uh, Showcase Broadcloth for $3.99, which is really pretty good. You save two to, good night, two to $4 on that a yard. It's a little heavier, but it's still nice fabric. For $6.99, the entire, you have the cotton prints and the calico, which is really super nice. Lots of really pretty prints. Um, but yeah, you can look through here and see it all. Yarns and fab, a canvas and the anti-pull fleeces on sale. All the, the linens on sale, which is a really good price. Um, yeah, so, and then of course on the bag, most of the time you can't use these because they're all for unless all your stuff is regular priced and of course we're not going in for regular price if we can help it we want to sell so you don't get to use that the only one is the one for 20 percent off your entire and it doesn't matter but uh yeah so i got this today so i thought i'd let you know uh simplicity thirsty through sunday a dollar 99 so anyway we'll go from there now i'll show you what i got at hobby lobby this is now, this is, like I said, these are all new look. This is 6697. You can see it was 99 cents. I love this look. It's simple. It's not all glammed up. But it's so classy looking. She has these little pin stripes in her skirt and this matching top. I can just see myself wearing this. And those of you who know me, you can see me wearing this too. I just love it. It has a waistband on it, a zipper in the back. Here are the line drawings of it. Little crop jacket. It is so cute. And there again, if you're the kind of person, oh, I don't want to show my belly. And you're not going to show your belly. You're not going to be walking around like this with your arms up in the air, are you? I mean, I'm not. So you can always lengthen it. And even in your straight skirt, you can shorten it. Like I said just two seconds ago, it's in your ballpark. You can do anything you want as the creator but I love this. Love it, love it. And I had no hesitation because at the end, after I had this huge stack of patterns, I had to go back and decide, okay, do which one do I like more? Net, 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 eeny, meeny. But uh, this one, no. I love this one. If you like this one, thumbs up. It is really pretty. I love it. All right, enough of that. <laughs> okay, this one too, this is 6677. This is so cute. I love this top. 
here you have the cutoff. It's actually right here where the seam is. Then they have this flouncy sleeve with a band. And then it comes up and it ties right up here under the chest. I love this. Now, I do have a pattern that's similar to this. Not new look. Um, and, I mean, it says on here the different fabrics are poplin, cotton, chambray, silky, chalice, crepe, double georgette. And these are your lighter, wavier ones. Um, I can't, you know, I can see even with a lightweight type of stretch fabric, you could even make this and tie that. Uh, it's just, there's so much you can do with fabric. Uh, and, of course, the fabric you choose will determine the results, no doubt. But I can see myself making this with those strapless dresses or those uh, sleeveless dresses or maybe, you know, your back. You know, it's just a perfect little addition to a dress to make it yours. It is so cute. And uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> so I'm glad I found that. This pattern here, new look, a, five, a 6544. This pattern I actually already own. Uh, the reason I repurchased it is because I've used it. I've made several skirts with this. And this is just kind of like a on the back burner type of thing. I have another copy of it. Um, here as it begins warmer and I'll be able to wear that skirt with the matching top. I'll, I'll bring this out and show you that it was this skirt. But uh, yeah. Um, you know, now that I think about it, I'm thinking this is actually the skirt that is, uh, to that little suit that I wear, or I just actually put it up. It was this outfit of the day. It's the one that's got the gold mustard and it's got the flowers embossed all over the jacket and the skirt. The jacket came from another pattern. I'm pretty sure this is a skirt now that I think about it. But, um, yeah, so I just got that for a repeat in case. Here's another one, 6608. And I got this because I think this is really cute. All it is is basically a shirt that's over. Uh, let's see, does it have elastic at the sleeves? Yeah, you can either have elastic or they can be full at the bottom like these are. But it ties right here. And that too is like a little cover-up. Uh, I know sometimes you go into businesses during the hot summer months and it's freezing. I mean, if you know in advance and you're prepared, you can always take it along and wear it if you need to. So uh, it was just really cute. It's just one of those pieces that makes a lot of sense in your collection. Sometimes you collect something, at least I do, and I think it's just so awesome and so cool. And then later I think, I'm not going to make that, <laughs> you know, for whatever reason. So I'm trying to be more minded, open-minded to that when I buy something. Here's a blouse, 6732, and I bought a bunch the other day at Butterick, but I don't know that you can have too many blouse patterns, but this is such a cute pattern. Here it's got two, two rows of ruffles at the bottom, full sleeve elastic, and then you've got your uh, ruffle that goes over the long sleeve plus another little ruffle. And here's the same version, only sh uh, no sleeves. And then right here is that same, this one right here, she's modeling it. And it's hard to see it because her, her pattern is so out there. But you can see where she has the ruffle. Ruffle. It is so cute. And uh, here are the line drawings that you can get an idea of what it looks like. And um, just around the neck. It's super cute. And, um, you know, this could be as it's getting warmer, like in spring, you know. Or maybe as it's getting into winter, as summer's ending, you could wear this. But I'm thinking this might be kind of warm in these 80, 90 degree states. <laughs> but the, the short uh, sleeveless one here, no. That would be really cute. Okay, here is 6672. And I like this shirt a lot, what the model is wearing. It's so cute. It has these, they're not set in sleeves. They're just elongated. And I've seen them longer, but here they are shorter. She has a little split opening. Um, yeah, because there is no buttons, no keyhole, no opening in the back whatsoever. So that's supposed to go over your head. And in the back, what's really cute, it's got this gathered with elastic on the inside. That's really super cute. And this one's actually a high-low, as you can tell. Higher in the front, lower in the back. Really cute. Um... It actually has a pleat 
in here too. So there's a lot going on in this blouse that makes it special. And uh, that's really cute. Then there's 6602. This here reminded me of the 70s. Um, here you've got the long maxi, and they have a split here, but good night. That's full enough. You wouldn't have to feed it want to, or you can make it a little one other than that up your leg there. Um, of course, you've got the trousers and the duster like that goes over it, but this is what I was thinking. It's really cute. It's got the two pockets. It's got the short sleeves. It's not way low at the neck. It's just a perfect little dress. Uh, you know, there too, it does not show that it has any zippers or anything in the back of it. So, oh, I see. Look at, look at right here. And I, you probably can't see it. Am I right? It's got two buttons. So you have to unbutton it and pull the shirt, pull the dress down to get it on and off your head. Is that not cute? I like that. And it, you can't tell that from the back. The line drawings, you don't see that. You just see where the split shows on the sides of those, but you don't see where the buttons cross over. But you can see it from this pattern piece. I don't know if you can or not. Visibility sometimes is a pain. And then I got 6573. Now, this pattern, I kept asking myself, do you really want that pattern? I mean, that's... Um, a lot of the reasons why I do not buy or wear these long things here is because I am so short. And I think it makes me look kind of like dumpy looking. I don't know. It's just... It does nothing for me because I am so short. So I thought, though, just recent days, uh, I just came across some fabric. I never showed you guys any of this. My son, he was really into sewing, and he actually made some real awesome uh, clothes for that punk, whatever that was. I, can th I, I remember a beautiful wool blue coat he made. Of big tails and had these sleeves with these buttons. It was awesome. Had these, uh, they weren't real functioning pockets, but they had the flaps on the, it was just beautiful. And he actually sold it for a good amount of money. But, so he was buying fabric himself. He had his own machine. His machine's still downstairs. I mean, he's not here now. But, um, he had a huge box of fabric and he told me, Mom, you can have that up there. I just don't have room for it now and I'm not doing that. So I went through and I found this stretchy, um, when I go to make something with it, I'll explain it and I'll show it to you. But it's like a uh, a brownish, uh, burgundy, mauvish. In between those colors there, you can combine all that. And uh, it's like those sweater-like long, you know, kind of go pointed in the front and the back for different kind of lengths of the hem. And uh, you put them over like a cardigan. Um, so, you know, kind of like this you put over. But I thought to myself, what if I used that fabric and I made a short version of it? I'm wondering what that would look like. You know, I don't know. So it was 99 cents. So I bought it. And I'm thinking maybe I will try that in the future. Don't know. But as you can see, it just goes over your head. Is it sideways? No, that's just showing you how big it is. Here's the neck up here. But it's like a big box. I mean... So easy. And you know what? You can make that dress too. Why am I now just thinking that? I think it's because I was zeroed in on the cardigan. <laughs> but yeah, the dress that goes with it. But anyway. Then this one, 6262. Two. I got this because these are just easy, simple little dresses to make during the hot summer months. I like all of them. This one here probably. I think this, I think in this one here, the model, she must have B on. And this is the same version, I believe, only it is sleeveless. And then, uh, the okay, and they both have rounded necks. Up here, they're, both, they're all the same, only these have V-necks. So you see the V-neck one and the rounded neck one. But very cute. And the line drawings in the back. Uh, they take a zipper in the back. But uh, I just thought it was one of those little dresses that, Nothing fancy, but just, you can make it really cute. Then this one, 6145. And I like this dress a lot. It has this folded collar that comes down. You can see it here. But it's not a collar that goes up to your neck. 
it actually kind of like a boat, but it's not called a boat collar. In the back, you can see the pointy collar, and it does have a zipper. So uh, it's just the way it lays. I just really like how it stands up and lays around her neck. It is so cute. And they're all the same dress, just different versions. This sleeve has like a gatheredness. As you set it in, this one has no sleeves. Uh, let's see. This one here has long sleeves, and this one here has the collar. So cute. I, I can see myself wear, uh, making that, too. Oh, very cute. Then this one's kind of like a caffetan. I makes me think of the 70s, but <laughs> it's 6229. And um, I think it's really cute, really comfortable. This would be a dress I could see myself making uh, during the summer months. And this is really cute, too. You've got the color blocking here. You could do that. Um, here they have a split up to the knee. And if you didn't want that, I mean, for you sewers, you can sew it up. It's full enough. You don't have to worry about walking. Um, it was just a really cute dress. Here's another blouse, 6527. I thought this was so pretty. It's a high-low. Here you have all your choices. The wide sleeves. Uh, let's see. This one has a cuff on it. This one's short, which I really like this. You either have your real short, you have your quarter length, you have your long, or you have your in-between. And this is a really good length. I like that, that length of a sleeve. Here you have your bell sleeves here. And then right here, let's see. This is, I guess, A. Here's A. So here's your line drawing of A. And here's the model with it on. It's like she has a, a shirt over a shirt. See the way that's made? But she does it. It's all one shirt. And I'll show you. There's the line drawings in the back. And it's really cute. I like that a lot. And I'm going to sneeze, guys, here in a minute. So, ex <laughs> excuse me. This one is 6722. And this is a wrap skirt. And it is so pretty. Look at this peach color. Uh, it looks like it's made of gauze to me. Uh, the fabric is batiks. I actually have some of that I have never used. And it is so pretty. Uh, chambray cotton blends double gauze. There you go. Gingham linen uh, poplin. So lightweight fabrics, but uh, this could be a, a bathing suit cover-up if you really wanted to get technical. You could just wear your top, and then the bottom, you could put this on there. Of course, you might want to make it shorter. I don't know you that are wearing it, but I have um, probably a couple wrap skirts. I actually have a wrap skirt. It's got lemon, lemons on it, and it's got eyelet and a navy blue with a white eyelet blouse trimmed in yellow doubled collar. It is so cute. Once it gets, I don't know, maybe I'll wear it Sunday to church. It's supposed to be in the 80s here Sunday. So uh, I haven't decided which of my summer things I'm going to wear. But I'm really excited to dress Sunday. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and got this because it's, I mean, it's almost like you can't have too many wrap skirts. And you know, wrap skirts, you got one, you got them all. I don't think that's true. I have seen some wraps. I don't know. They don't fit on the body. Even though you have your size, it's like it fits far over. I like the ones that when you wrap it, you've got so much fabric, it goes all the way over. Because normally, I know in the past growing up, you always had to put a pin down there so the wind doesn't blow it open. Um, that's kind of like the, the one I have downstairs now that I think about it. It comes all the way over. So it's really a nice one. Here's another uh, 6604. And this is linen, I can tell from looking at the fabric. But it's such a cute, cute blouse. It's set in sleeve, comes down, then it's got like a bell, kind of like a sleeve. Uh, it has these little tucks that come down the front. It's hard to see because of this color. And then she's just got it with a edging on the bottom. Um, but there are several. So hers is this top one. The shirt she has on is this one. But then you have the sleeveless one, and then you have the long sleeve with the ties at the wrist, but they all have this uh, tucks that come here, little uh, draw um, sewing down the front there, and it's just got a keyhole opening in the back, and there's the line drawings that you can see, really cute shirt, and this is my last pattern, yay, that was only 15, it felt like a lot, I'm sorry guys, I hope you're still with me. 
This is 6695. This is a really beautiful dress. It had it has tucks like pleats here. Then it's straight from here up. It's got elastic and then it's a blousey top with quarter length sleeves. And it's got like a shearing there where you pull the cord and it gathers it up. Uh, that's really pretty. You can actually see it probably more here. And here it is up here. This is the one she has on actually. But this one here, sleeves are a little different with a ruffle and a tie. But uh, here's a line drawn to it. Shows you the whole dress, long sleeve, shorter sleeve, collar, no collar. But uh, it's really, really cute. And it doesn't have anything but a uh, little opening in the back. And it's because it has an opening in the front and you can put it on and off your head. But uh, very pretty. I really like that. So those are the patterns that I got at Hobby Lobby. I was so excited to see those for 99 cents. So I, I got in on it and now I have several new look patterns. Um, the next thing that I bought at Hobby Lobby, like I told you, it's not a big deal. I got three packs of the red wide single fold bias tape that I need to finish up my apron. I could not find my strawberry um, buttons that I wanted. I actually went on Tamu to look. That's where I'm waiting for my little homemade label that's going to go, a handmade label that's going to go on there. It's adorable. But, uh, so I'm going to have to wait till I get those in. But, um, there was only one other strawberry button I saw on there. I, I'm sure they had hundreds and hundreds. But I only looked so far. And I think they were wooden buttons. And those wouldn't have been bad on there. They were cute. But I might actually have some strawberry buttons in my stash. So I'm going to have to look through my buttons and see. But these are the buttons I got today for 99 cents. See how they are iridescent? They're so pretty. They had been $2.99, and I got them for $0.99. Cents. And there's plenty here to put on a blouse, even cuffs. So I thought those were really pretty, and they got, like, ridges in them. Like, see the lines? They're like ridges. I mean, you can actually feel the ridge. It is so cute. So I got those, and then I got these. They remind me of those blue-type plates, those crystal plates. They're blue, and they got, like, a scenery written on them. Are drawn on them. These had been five forty nine, and I got them for a dollar ninety nine. But uh, I just love them. They will be so pretty on a the front or the back of a dress with different designs going down. Isn't that pretty? And I like them so well. And they were only two dollars. I got a second pack, so I could use them on another more than one project. But I thought they were so really really pretty. But, yeah. So, anyway, that's all that I got from Hobby Lobby today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed sharing it with you. Um, I will get back with you. I have, uh, I, I did get two um, Temu uh, packages in. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to show you those. One of those is going to be a try-on because I got clothes. And so, we'll see how those fit. And, um. Yeah, I'm not sure when we're going to do that. But right now, we're going to say goodbye. And I thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a blessed afternoon, evening. What time is it? Four o'clock? It's getting up there, I know. I've had a long day. Bye-bye <laughs> now.